Everybody knows Marcus Smart is one of those players that you hate to go up against yet love having on your team. He is scrappy and physical, and he's made a living off of being a terrific defender and teammate. However, that physicality doesn't always help his team out. In this video, we'll show you a number of exhilarating fights involving Marcus Smart throughout his career. But to kick everything off, we have a crazy feud involving him and J.R. Smith. These two absolutely hate each other, and for good reason. They seem to always get into heated confrontations, no matter the circumstances. This fight took place in the Eastern Conference Finals just a few years ago, with the Boston Celtics going up against the Cleveland Cavs. At the time, Kyrie Irving wasn't on the Cavs anymore, so LeBron James, Kevin Love, and J.R. Smith were trying to do everything they could to make another Finals appearance. Boston won the first matchup at home and were up by 8 points with just 3 minutes left in Game 2. With all the momentum on the side of the Celtics, Al Horford cut to the basket for 2 points and was met with a hard shove in the back by J.R. Smith. Whistles were blown as Horford flew to the ground, but Smith just turned around and started walking away like nothing even happened. Marcus Smart immediately ran over and bumped into Smith in an effort to defend his now slightly hobbled teammate. Smith sent Smart a shove to get some space while Marcus continued to try and charge after him. Smith was pushed away by Jeff Green and a referee while Smart was restrained by LeBron James, Love, and Tristan Thompson. The two continued to share words and argue with one another the entire time they walked to their bench. Coaches for Boston had to make sure Smart was settled down because they couldn't afford to lose him to a suspension, especially when this current game was already wrapped up. Though these two fought quite a bit actually, the Celtics and the Cavs faced off once again. Smith got tangled up with Aaron Baines and it resulted in the two players each exchanging hard shoves to one another. As Smith was being pulled away from Baines by two Cav teammates, Smart flew in from behind and sent Smith another shove in the back. As you could imagine, this just sparked absolute chaos all over the place. Smith was seen laughing and backing up from the pile, while Smart was fighting through Jason Tatum and Terry Rozier like a wild dog to try and hit JR. After a few seconds, Smith eventually sent a shove towards either a ref or Jordan Clarkson as the two were trying to keep him away from Marcus while he got restrained also. Smart was pushed away to try and get calmed down, while Smith could be seen saying, I'm good, and clapping to try and get the crowd all riled up from the fight. This was probably the most insane fight of Smart's career, though this next one could have been a lot worse had he not been pulled away. The Celtics were going up against Dwight Howard in this game when an outburst occurred. Howard was fighting for positioning to grab an offensive rebound, but he accidentally knocked Marcus down in the process. Howard passed it to a teammate who drove into the lane, and Howard and Smart once again started fighting for a box out. This time though, when they got tangled up, Smart wiggled free and gave Howard a hard shove. Then the two started arguing and yelling when Jason Tatum and another Boston player ran over to pull Smart away. While they were doing so, somebody must have had their hand on Howard because he swiped hard and knocked away whoever tried to calm him down. Howard surprisingly didn't need as much calming down as Smart did though, but the situation did end up resolving itself quicker than most fights. It definitely ended quicker than this next fight. The Celtics were up against the Atlanta Hawks in a normal regular season game, though nothing was normal about this fight. The Hawks were up by 7 with just under 8 minutes remaining in the third quarter when play was stopped. There seemed to be arguments happening from multiple players on the court that had to be figured out. There was a huge pile on the court while referees tried getting everyone separated and sorted out. Smart seemed to be one of the players that had to be restrained as he was pulled away by maybe 5 people including Al Horford. Then, out of nowhere, you could see Smart break away from his restraints and full sprint through everybody just to send a shove to DeAndre Bembry. It looked as if he may have thrown a punch in there, but it was too hard to tell because of how many people were around the two of them. Had he connected on a punch though, this situation would have been 10 times worse for the scrappy Celtics guard. Next up, the Boston Celtics found themselves in a playoff series when this fight took place. I guess the playoffs just happens to be when Smart is not able to get control of his emotions, though this one wasn't really his fault. The team was up against the Chicago Bulls and held a 21 point lead in the game, so the Bulls were desperately trying to flip the momentum. Chicago missed a shot and Marcus Smart came down with the board. As he went to dribble up court, Jimmy Butler was locked into every step he took. He literally didn't get off of Smart, so Marcus tried to turn around and another Chicago player stole the ball and got a free layup. Right when Smart tried to inbound the ball again, 
Butler followed him and put his chest on him once again. At this point, Marcus had just had enough and shoved him backwards and out of his face for a second. Butler went right back at Smart and the two started jawing and arguing with one another. Referees and other teammates stepped in to try and separate them for a while, then Gerald Green could be seen giving words of encouragement to Smart and trying to get his head back into the game. After all, they were still winning by 18 points and held all of the momentum. Meanwhile, Butler was being talked to by the Miami Heat legend Dwayne Wade, who had his arm around Butler's shoulders to try and motivate him so that he could get his head back into the game and not on the fight. This next clip ended up being one of the biggest of Marcus's career, and it took place when they were up against the Sacramento Kings. The Celtics were just thrashing the Kings in this matchup, and frustration started to get the best of DeMarcus Cousins. Boston held a 21-point lead with just over 7 minutes remaining in the game, and it was just about time to wrap it up and go home. Cousins set an offensive screen for his teammate to try and spring him open, but ended up getting wrapped around the defender who was guarding his teammate. That defender happened to be Marcus Smart, one of the scrappiest players in the league. So you already know that the two of them would have started to get into a fight, but the fight didn't start right at that screen, it just kind of intensified things a little bit. That exact same possession though, Smart just happened to be standing in front of Cousins as the ball bounced off the rim. So Smart did all he could to box out Cousins on the perimeter, and Boogie was not happy about it. Before you know it, Cousins literally flipped Smart onto the ground, with referees and players all sprinting over to separate the two before it got any worse than it already was. Smart was luckily unable to get a swing or a shove in, but was still punished with a technical foul, the same punishment that Cousins faced. Though it wouldn't have been that big of a punishment for Cousins had he not already had a technical foul to his name during the game, so this fight ended up getting him thrown out. Our final clip of the video happens to take place during a college game, when Smart just got into it with a fan, something you don't get to see very often. A player on the opposing team got off to a breakaway and jumped into the air to slam the ball down. As we all know, Smart never gives up on a play, so he was chasing after the player and even jumped up with him to try and deflect the ball away and save the two points. He ended up falling short of his goal, but carried so much momentum that he went flying into the first few rows. Now, while he was there, the cameras cut over to him speaking to a fan before he pushed him with two hands, and the two women around the fan immediately jumped to the fan's aid and separated him before things could have gotten worse. Every time the cameras cut back over to the fan, he was just smiling and laughing over the situation, as if he didn't do anything wrong at all, while the few people around him were shocked that it even happened in the first place. Smart walked back onto the court after the shove and was pleading with the referees to punish the man because he claims that he was yelling racist remarks at him while he was trying to get back up and return to the floor. The team ended up trying to review the footage to find out exactly what the fans said, but they were never able to clearly hear what he was saying, though it sounds close to what the fan claimed that he said, calling Smart a piece of crap. Well, it will never be known what exactly was said, but clearly it had enough of an effect for Smart to take matters into his own hands. Want to see more fights? Then click on one of the videos that appears now on your screen. And make sure to subscribe only if you enjoy watching these NBA fights. And let us know in the comments below who we should make a video about next. We'll be sure to shout you out.